How should Carson Wentz feel about Howie Roseman's reasoning for drafting Jalen Hurts? One of my favorite things is these draft experts telling us many years later about the guy they would have taken who was wildly successful that they didn't get a chance to take. And in this case, it's Russell Wilson in the third round, wanted to take him, missed the opportunity. And so when you ask me, how should Carson Wentz feel about this? I don't very much care about his feelings. This is the part I find interesting. The Philadelphia Eagles have been a hugely confusing team to me over the last two years because what they did a couple of years ago was so overwhelming winning a Super Bowl in overwhelming fashion with their backup quarterback that I extend to them a certain trust that perhaps I shouldn't based on what it is that I saw last year even as injured as they were and I think that they must have a creative use for Jalen Hurts I don't think of this as something that is uncertainty about Carson Wentz who they've already paid as much as trying to see if you can find Russell Wilson in the third round when Russell Wilson I think we'd all agree is better than Carson Wentz this will not endear me to Eagles fans who are very angry on the internet right now, but the more I think about the Hurts move, the more I like it, and it's in large part because I think they really like Jalen Hurts. I don't think they're BSing when they compare him to Russell and Lamar, not to say that he's a comparable player, but that he brings a lot of value to this team, obviously, as the backup, and they know the value of backups more than other teams. I think he brings more upside than a cheap veteran or a later round draft pick. I think they think they can use him in interesting ways. You alluded to, Dan, the Taysom Hill thing, potentially in high leverage situations and short yardage at the goal line. He brings a lot of value there. And also as an investment, I think they believe he is a good player who they can develop and then potentially flip for more picks down the road. Now, the downside of it is the opportunity cost, but this isn't like the Packers, right? They drafted a wide receiver for Carson Wentz, a good one in the first round and added speed across the roster. I think for the most part, the benefits of Jalen Hurts outweigh that minimal cost. Yeah. Uh, you know, you guys aren't coming to me for my draft expertise. It's not something that, you know, I've got a lot to say on. But I will say this is a story I can actually relate to. I've been the Eagles before in my <clears throat> fantasy draft where you have people that you want and you know you shouldn't be taking them at certain rounds. So sometimes you reach for a guy you didn't need to reach for and you take a guy who's not a good fit for your team, but it's just because – You've done it differently in the past and that didn't work. So, hey, might as well try this and see if it works. Um, I did that and I won a championship last year. So I'm going to go ahead and say, based on that very real life data, that, uh, that, that this is going to work out for the Eagles. Also, I know, uh, Dan, you said earlier that you want to draft a really, they, they talk about a guy they could have drafted, a really talented guy that they wanted because it panned out. And Russell Wilson, incredibly talented. But uh, I don't want us to forget that he has had his shortcomings. Wow. Oh, really? it's not a short joke. The it's first this, day, I, I don't have a coming. Brady question, and this is how you pay me back. Didn't see this coming. I was surprised that she had control over the video. I, too, thought it was a short joke. We both were standing there staring, but that doesn't hurt me. It only hurts you. Can we come up with a thinly veiled premise to bring Brady in today somehow, some way? I'm sure I you will. A, I'm sure you will. 